Welcome back to the Budget Techie, and today we are going to do a GPU replacing project. This GPU is a GTX 750 Ti, which I got from eBay for about 45 bucks American currency, and uh, pretty cheap. It's a it's a workhorse. It's a pretty good GPU. You can play some games like uh, I used to play Valorant, GTA 5, Overwatch, Fortnite, whatever you put on there. It still works. So. I'm going to be using this in one of my rigs, I will refurbish and sell, so without a doubt, let's get to it, so uh, you can open up these screws and it's this GPU, it's a little old and it's in need of a repaste, I guess, so yeah. The screwdriver is stubby as hell, so uh, hard to get out, so let's see. This GPU was also kind of dusty, so thought I'd give it a little clean too. So here I got all the screws out. Wow, man. Look at that thermal. That shit is all caked up, so gotta get that damn thing out. So let's with all that, let's disconnect the wires, and I'm going to be marking this with a sharpie, so I just know uh, where to plug the wires back in, since I don't want to cause a short circuit when the negative pins and the positive pins are not in the correct alignment, so I'm going to mark it right here with the black sharpie, just so I know where the pins are, the black side aligns with the black side, so I'm going to disconnect the power and then be wiping down all the thermal paste. All the paste off the GPU and clean the GPU a bit. There's like a shit ton of paste kicked onto the cooler. I don't know why the OEMs like it was hard as fuck to take off. Like I don't know why. So yeah, it took me a lot of elbow grease to wipe off. I see where OEMs use the cheapest shit with thermal paste ever. So with that out of the way, let's put new thermal paste and slap this thing back on here. So here you go, we got the GPU die right here, this is this little piece of silicon over here, it's pretty cool so, now I've got our Arctic MX-5 thermal paste, this is the thermal paste I got from Amazon a few years back, I actually have a bunch of thermal paste, so I need to use them up since, you know, I'm not supposed to store them, because I thought you were supposed to store thermal paste. So I'm gonna work on using all of this thermal paste first. It's, I've got a few tubes of Noctua, but this is my last Arctic thermal paste. So, uh, further ado, let's take this cap off the thermal paste. Damn, that's kinda hard, but I did. Let me zoom in a bit more for you, so. Here's the GPU chip again. We 
that tiny dab like this. I guess that's enough. Try to spread it out a bit with the, the tube, so. Oh shit, I got all over, but uh, that's okay. This is not gonna be like a daily driver I use all the time, so. Yeah, this is good. I wonder if this is too much. So now it's time to put on the connectors right here. This is the black end, so I'll plug it back into here. And now the, the cool block is back on. Just apply that aluminum contact plate to the CPU. Make sure all these screw holes line up before we screw uh, our screws back in. So now we've got the GPU all repasted and it's ready to go. So what we need to do is just test it. I I'm not going to really test it since I'm 100% confident that this works. This is just like a little repaste. So when I plug this into the computer I'm going to be working on, I'm making a video about this. This will probably work and I bought a... DVI A to VGA adapter so it could work with older monitors since I'm planning to sell this with a uh, with an older LCD with VGA output so and if you like my videos please like and subscribe you don't have to and peace out